Morning, guys. Good morning, everyone. Um, I don't know how good the quality is on this right now. Uh, how's that? All right. Is that okay? God, I really hope this is okay. Morning, guys. Morning, everybody. Hello. What's up? Hey, guys. Hello. Oh, hello, everybody. Hello from Canada. Oh. G'day from Melbourne, everybody. Hey guys. All right, so third live video. So I've got everything ready. I hope I have everything ready. So today I'm gonna to be showing you guys in real time how to weather the Uncharted 3 Nathan Drake white Henley shirt. And that was the original plan, just to weather the, the, uh, the Henley shirt. But yesterday, the pants arrived. So we're gonna weather these bad boys up too. These are a perfect fit. Um, uh, perfect style with the side pockets that ride a little bit low. So I did have to like blast them in the washing machine yesterday because they were a little bit loose, but now they are like a perfect fit. So hi guys. Hello everyone. Um, Guys, is this coming through okay? I'm on my Wi-Fi and it's saying it's a poor connection, but how is it for you guys, your end? No? Yes, yep, yep. <laughs> okay, sweet, looks good to me, that's all I need to hear. <laughs> all right, so we are gonna be weathering the Henley shirt, the pants, and just some subtle weathering on the belt. Now, um, I know I said I was after a Nathan Drake Uncharted 3 watch, and I went to went into the city on a Saturday, went to Paddy's Market, you know, which is, they've got just, They've pretty much got counterfeit stuff everywhere, but it's the stuff I need because if you want to get a real deal Nathan Drake watch, you're going to pay two, three hundred dollars and no, no, you guys know I'm a tight ass when it comes to cosplay, bat flick. <laughs> but what I did was I got my uh, Uncharted 4 watch and my Uncharted 1 leather wristband and I just fused them together. So I uh, cut the ends off the watch and riveted it to the... Um, to the leather strap and it's perfect. It's like the perfect Uncharted 3 watch right there. So as far as I'm concerned, that part is done. So in terms of weathering today, um, if you guys have played Uncharted 3, you'll know that there is a lot of staining going on uh, down on the chest area and under the arms because Nathan is a stinky bastard. So we got to get rid of this pristine looking white first. So we're going to lightly go over the whole shirt with a flat black and we've got a gloss smooth chocolate brown. Um, I've then got the black and brown inks from uh, testers. You guys know how I use these on my custom collectibles. So I'm going to water these guys down a bit. I'm going to get a brush and kind of get the bristles and spray it against everything and just really build and cake up uh, this area here as well as going along the seams and with the pants it's pretty much just going over with the uh, with the brown and the black until we get a kind of desired look so there is staining going on with the pants in the game but it's nowhere near as severe as the Henley shirt that like cops it the most so without further ado let's get to it because like I said I'm on my Wi-Fi and I'd hate for it to cut out with you guys that would just be an absolute punish then I have to go under my actual internet and that's not something I want to do because I'm like 50% over my data usage already because um, our internet's just like really piss poor here. So we're going to glove up, we're going to mask up, okay, pop the hat back on. So I'm just going to pop the pants over here for now and the belt over here for now. So I've mounted it on a PVC T-shape just to make it easier and just give it that spread that we want. So. I'm going to bring it around here. I'm going to start off with the black. Just lightly. There we go. The hardest part is trying to get even coverage everywhere. But you kind of just build it up to your liking. Okay. Starting to look good already. Okay. 
Now, one thing I do want to mention, see how I had to cut slits up the sleeves there? When I got the shirt, like this fabric is, that's what she said, very stiff. Like it just, I do have Henley shirts that have a lot more flexibility to them, but this one, it was tough. I couldn't even roll the sleeves up probably past that point there. So had to slice up the top of the sleeves here and it's kind of like, you know, a button up shirt where you have your buttons there on the ends of the sleeves, so it rolls up nice and easily now. So these areas are another part that have heavy soiling to them. So uh, ends of the sleeves, uh, the collar, and under the arms. So we're just gonna start doing the back. It, it looks like I'm making a Nathan Drake scarecrow or something. Beautiful. Yes. And you can be sporadic as well with it. It doesn't have to be absolutely even everywhere. Okay. Looking pretty good to me. Whoop, bit of spritz there. Okay. All right, let's get cracking on the ground. Okay, now that that's done, what I'm going to do is take it off the, uh, the T-bar thing that I made up. And these are just PVC pipes with attachments on it with the T-bar attachment. So we're done with that. So, alright. Now we've got ourselves, I don't know how well you guys can see. See that? That is what we don't want. So that happens when the fabric... Um, and the fabric kind of pulls together, so... Alright, so what we're going to do is just grab some sandpaper. Where's me sandpaper? See, I'm not prepared for this. Actually, also... So what we can do is back it up with some white spray paint. And that'll soften that stain. Okay. Fresh piece of sandpaper. Okay, that's starting to really rough it up, break it up. Ah, lovely. Just giving it another spray of white everywhere. Cool. That looks nasty. Okay. So it's pretty much um, just a matter of going back around and just finding that happy medium until you kind of meet halfway with all the colours. So this white also acts as sort of a yellow in a way, so it's going to emulate perspiration, uh, especially under the arms because I know if you guys have ever worn a white shirt enough, you'll notice that it does go yellow under the armpits. Which is disgusting, but you know, part of being a human. Okay. 
Get more white and black there. Where's me sandpaper? So I kind of want to do this as like a speed weathering test to see how quickly I can get all of this done. sit for now. Now the pants. So the pants, like I said, it's pretty much, um, it's just left up to your own interpretation in terms of how you want it to look. Um, so let's just have a crack here. Okay, so now it's one of those things where you spray it on, just give it a bit of a wipe down, which seems to be working pretty good. Uh, guys, I have actually never played Call of Duty. Oh, like I have back in the day when I was at my mate's house, but I'm like, I'm not a massive gamer. I know, I know. Um, but yeah, I just... Like, obviously with Arkham, the Arkham series and the Uncharted series, um, you know, th those are my go-to games, but I don't play games that often. Um, and it's not as if, like, you know, I don't like games, I just don't have the time, but when I did play Call of Duty at my mate's house, I loved it, it was a good game. You know, we were playing, um, I think, multiplayer, so there was four of us, that was pretty damn good. Like, when you're playing with your mates, it's a lot more fun, but, yeah, um... I just don't have the time. Okay. So as we get to the bottom of these pants, you kind of want to get really severe with the weathering. Give it a clap. <laughs> so I don't know how well you guys can see that, but it's just starting to soot a lot more. Okay. Um. Now I'm gonna be honest, I am not happy with how this shirt has turned out. Uh, hmm. I think that black streak right across the chest has kind of ruined it, unfortunately. And I'm glad that this is on a video and a live video because I fuck up a lot. So look, you guys can see like that is unacceptable. Like you can't do that. So, I, look, I appreciate you guys think it looks good, um, but it kind of, see how it's just too, too soiled across the top there. So look, it's all good. This shirt, I think, it was a 20 bucks. So look, I'm just gonna have to order another one, which I'm totally cool with, um, and it should be here within a week. So look, this is a lesson learned. And look, I'm happy that that kind of happened. But if you guys can understand where I'm coming from, that is just, that's just gonna piss me off. I mean, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> okay, that's all good. Lesson learned. So we're gonna continue with the pants. Again, just subtle areas, just all the way along, especially where all the threads are, where everything is sewn together. And what I'll do later on is I'll probably pop these on and I'll go down the front yard and I'll skid on the grass so the knees get scuffed up and you get that green on them, like the grass stains. Yeah, that's looking good. Okay. See ya. Where's the brown? Okay, there's the brown. Beautiful. So, just really... So, what I'm doing is getting the brown, as I'm spraying it with the gloved hand, I'm kind of wiping it away and it just builds up that stain that's going to hug the boots. So hopefully the boots should be here this week too. Okay. So, 
see that's kind of like mud and grime just built up um, at the base of the pants so okay someone called me Christopher I must be in trouble okay Scrunch it up, give it a good scrunch up because it's very, very tacky. Okay. All right, let that sit for a bit. That was me. All right. Can you bleach the shirt to save 20 bucks? Um, not really, now that, you know, it's caked up with spray paint. Um, it's one of those things where you can't get it out anymore, so. Look, it's all good. This has happened to me before, actually, with my Uncharted 1 top. Like, Nate doesn't wear um, a Henley shirt in Uncharted 1. It's just a regular long sleeve white top. I weathered that, and I went way too far. Like, it's one of those things where you kind of got to do it a bit at a time. And this totally isn't a problem. I've still got time before Supernova. Um, hey, at least we're getting the pants done today. And we can do the belt. I've shown you guys... Uh, the watch and this arrived yesterday so I'm going to be using a Glock in the holster and this baby arrived yesterday as well so very happy with that um, I have actually found an AK-47 on eBay so um, uh, I will be getting that as well but for now these will do I obviously I do want the Glock because most times out of 10 I do pick up a Glock in the game <laughs> So yeah, all right, just stick with your dirt for weathering. Yeah, that's pretty true. And then leave it in the sun, bleach it to a nice color and look, it's been an adventure. Mm. You know what? Um, what's your favorite song by Day to Remember? Oh, Mr. Highway's thinking about the end. Um, look, you know what? I will throw it in some bleach for the hell of it because it's pretty much fucked now. So it'd be worth giving it a crack. But either way, I probably will order two more today. Um, they should be here within a week and then <laughs> I'll attempt to re-weather them again. So I'm just going to re-glove up and finish these pants off and then get us do a little bit of uh, sanding on the belt and then we'll call it a day. So guys, I've also been working on the uh, Edward Scissorhands props. So I want to have a video by the end of this week with them all finished because they are pretty much uh, finished with the exception of some uh, tweaks here and there. And I'm very happy with uh, with how it's all coming together because like this project's been in the works for three years now, believe it or not. You know, you kind of put it away, go off and do something else. So I think that can be very beneficial sometimes when you're working on projects is to walk away for a bit. So yeah, Some sandpaper. Yeah. You think you could do a Spider-Man cosplay? Oh, I know I'd have to get pretty lean for that and I don't like being lean. Uh, yeah, I get way too hungry. I don't really have that athletic, um, I don't really have that athletic build and I really have to work for it like for weeks, months to get that look. And I've seen just some amazing Spidey cosplayers that are just, some Spidey cosplayers are just naturally athletic and lean. Um, When's your next Comic-Con? Supernova, June, which is what I'm getting this ready for. So that's why I've kind of got to uh, get this shirt ready now. So actually, let's have a look. Cable cosplay. Hmm. I don't know if I'm not built enough uh, for a cable cosplay. Nightwing cosplay, maybe. I do want to do a Red Hood cosplay down the track. Red Hood has really won me over. Um, eBay. <sighs> Make a custom lightsaber. I can definitely do that. Go down to Bunnings and get some PVCs, everything. Two-Face cosplay, definitely. Guys, if you want to fund me for all these, all these cosplays, feel free. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going to get the money from. Oh. Wi-Fi says no. Come on, Flea Bay. Anyway, while that's loading. Yeah, those pants are looking pretty good. 
might just kind of even out. Go. So now I'm just combining the brown and black, and they're kind of fusing into this one spray. I'm like one of those crazy artists going nuts on their creation. Yeah, buddy. That's looking pretty good. Very nice. Cool. So I'm just gonna leave them to set for now. I'll do the other side later. Um, you right? You right? Do you, do you wanna come along for the ride? So, <clears throat> here's the belt and I've attached it to just like, you know, a cheap um, belt strap from Target or Target as we call it here in Australia. Uh, now I'm just getting some, what grit is this? 120 grit sandpaper. And just really roughing it up. Like it is, it does have a rough texture to it, but it's a little bit too smooth for my liking. Especially for a belt that Nate would have had for quite some time and it's been through a lot. So, and that's pretty much all I'm doing in terms of the belt. The buckle seems pretty, um, pretty weathered to me, like how it came in the mail. Okay. Pretty good. Maybe just a. To... Oh, okay. Yeah, that's good. That's really bringing out the highlights on the belt. Look at that. Like it was weathered to start off with, but yeah, this is just even better. Because in low light, you can't really see the buckle, and that's kind of part of the centerpiece of Nate's costume, apart from those beautiful holsters. There you go. That looks lovely. Okay. Um. Oh, I think I might sit down for a bit. So look guys, I'm gonna answer a few questions um, and then I'm gonna wrap it up because I've gotta order more shirts. I'm actually really glad this happened where you guys saw me fuck this up. So I fuck up a lot of stuff. Thanks to the power of editing, like custom collectibles, my God, the amount of stuff that I've screwed up along the way. Um, use Patreon. I don't know. I'm still on the fence about Patreon. I'm still funny about the idea of it. I'll see. I want to, you know, have packages available if someone does donate to a Patreon. You know, it could be a Skype session to talk about their cosplay or something like that. Um, I don't know. I've really got to think it out. Um, but yeah, it's all good. So, <laughs> um, funniest moment from Uncharted. Uncharted 4 when he's playing Crash Bandicoot. I think that was funny, clever, and just the best tip to the hat I've ever seen um, in a game. Um, Netflix Daredevil cosplay. When I watch the show, maybe, because I really dig that suit. It's a beautiful looking suit. Um, when are you coming back to the USA? Probably October. Yeah, probably October. Um, so guys, if you've just tuned in, originally I was going to be uh, showing you guys how to weather the white <laughs> Henley shirt. Um, as you can see here, it's just, there's this big streak across here that I'm just not happy with. Um, but the pants look fine. Pants are going well. Happy with the pants. So I'm going to order two more shirts uh, just in case I screw it up again. I just subbed to your channel. Thank you very much, Remy. Very much appreciate it. Um, so yeah, it's all good. Belt's weathered now. The boots should be here this week. Got the guns. Uh, watch is done. Got to wait for the hair to grow. I've got the Sig Parvis Magna ring. So it's pretty much just waiting for the uh, holsters to arrive. Oh, God. I hope I don't fuck them up weathering them. I'll never forgive myself. Um, so yeah, all right, I'm gonna wrap this up. Um, I am gonna, I'll go throw this in some bleach just for the hell of it and see how it goes. Um, you know, it's screwed now, so why not give it a crack? Um, but yeah, I will, um, I will do the back of the pants this afternoon because it, the, the front's a little bit tacky at the moment. Um, but yeah, guys, thank you very much for tuning in. Thank you very much for watching me stuff up and being so cool with it. It's all part of cosplay. My God, the amount of stuff that we stuff up. So yeah, um, guys, I put a video up this morning, my review of my Necker quarter scale Raphael. He's beautiful. Um, I got a pre-order Leo. I hopefully have a Edward Scissorhands, um, video up this week with the Scissorhand props. 
So yeah, busy week. Good day to have a pulse. Good day to have you guys in my life, and I appreciate your support and putting putting up with my uh, stupid shenanigans. Um, but yeah, guys, I'm gonna wrap it up. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day, night, wherever you are in the world. Take care of yourselves, um, and yeah, all the best. And I'll speak to you guys later. See you later.